So this is the Logitech MX Master, and my scroll wheel has lost all its bite. When I spin it, it really just doesn't doesn't click. There's no traction there. If I go to free mode, it spins nice and freely. When I engage it, it should bite and stop. It just kind of grinds away inside. It's easily fixed, and I'll show you in the rest of this video. Turn the mouse upside down, make sure it's off. There'll be two T6 screws at the top here. These are normally covered by the, uh, the, the pads on the bottom that help you to slide. When you peel these off, take care, they have two layers, and here you find two Phillips screws. Once these are out, the unit comes apart, it pivots here. So I take it in both hands, and I try and twist the unit up and apart firmly, but not too hard as there is a ribbon cable. You've got to twist the unit apart. Little wiggle and it will come. At this point, slowly lift because there is a little ribbon cable in the middle. I think we're out of focus. That ribbon cable is not long at all, so take care with it. Once let out, you've exposed the inside of the mouse. And I'll zoom in so we can see what's going on. With this piece here in the middle, there's an arm. It connects the wheel to the motor, there's a shield, and there's this tiny little piece here. When you engage the motor, it rotates and pushes this arm backwards and forwards. Over time, it works its way up the post. What we do is we take a tool, very firmly and softly push this down, and it will kind of click into place as you push it down. Uh, and that's not the mouse clicking by the way, you need to push it down firmer than that and it will slide back down the post. At this point, the mouse bites again. I've got a click. As I wheel it back and forward, you can feel each individual tooth hitting the gear. It's not free. If I were to power the mouse on and click it in place, it would bite back down. Once you've finished, you can click the mouse back together again. Starting with the thumb pad first, put that piece in and fold it back down, making sure that the little tooth here is in place. This tooth must go in first. Gently slide it down, I use two fingers here, and push. Click back together again, that's it, done. We'll turn the mouse on. Clicks nice, back into free spin. When I press it again, bites into place lovely. It's not wiggling around, it's not loose. Feels as good as new. That's it. Put the screws back on, replace the feet, and you're good to go.